Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be installing Ubuntu Server on a virtual machine on a KVM hypervisor. So um, notice we are specifying the location of the ISO to install it, and for graphics, we're specifying VNC. So we're going to start it, start it up using a vert install. Now our VM is actually running, and the installer should be running right now. So we're going to connect to it with a VNC. Now um, I'm running this VNC client from a MacBook Pro on running macOS. Now <clears throat> here we see it on the console. We see it has booted up to a grub menu. So we're going to select try or install Ubuntu server. Now most of this is going to be done over a VNC connection. We're going to connect using the console later. So yeah, the it's um, basically the resolution has changed a little bit here. And there we go, there's our installer running. So we're, we're just going to select English. And then we're going to go ahead and say continue without updating the installer. Select done. We're going to skip. Yeah, we're just going to select Ubuntu server. And I think actually, yeah, let, let's install these third party drivers if there are any. So we'll search for them. Now we're going to wait for the network. Um, we saw it show up for a second there and disappear. There we go. There's our IP address, continue on. Um, we're, we're just going to wait for this just to do it. I, I know it's going to be OK. And there we go. <clears throat> so mirror verified. And now we're going to select use the entire disk because that's the whole point of this. This entire VM, everything is just for the purposes of running this. So let's run that. It's going to show us what our partitions are going to look like. We're going to say yes continue now we're going to uh, set up a, a user a non-root user so not super creative with my naming here <clears throat> i'm going to call this host one user one i'm going to use my normal password here and continue on we're going to skip past ubuntu pro and we're going to install open ssh server that's pretty important um, I'm going to do the SSH identity stuff later on after building the server, so not in this video. Now I'm going to skip almost all of this stuff, if not everything on this list. You could choose this stuff if you like, though. So like, there we go, and now the installer is running. I sped this part up and a lot of other parts up a lot in this video. So there we go, now that the installer is done. We are going to try connecting with VNC. So it looks like our VM is actually probably down. Let's check it here. VersH list, all, and here we have host one shut off. So we're going to start it right back up. It did not start up automatically. Start host, host one. All right, there we go. I'm going to check it, see it's running. So let's try connecting to it again. So we're going to open this up, and we see there's a console. It's booting up, still displaying some stuff, even though it brought up a, a login prompt. Now, I'm going to try running a console over here for bringing back that window. Now, notice the console. I wasn't able to do anything. Um, you can connect to it, but it doesn't give you any output. But we switch, we're going to fix that. So we switch back over to uh, our VNC connection. Now we want to fix the console. So on our VNC connection, we're gonna we're gonna pass some parameters to the kernel in our grub config. I'll show you how to do that in just a sec here. But let me type my password correctly and get logged right in. So there we go. We're logged into our host. So we're gonna look at this uh, this um, grub config file here. And let's see here. So I think at this point I was looking at something off uh, off the screen. So anyways, yeah, editing this file. Um, yeah, and if you want to see which file this is, check the link in the description. If you want to copy and paste the path or anything like that, or these parameters. So we're going to be editing our grub command line Linux defaults. So we're going to edit that right here. And I switch back over here for a sec. And I'm just going to switch right back. So... I'm going to jump to the end of the line there and edit it. It's, it's going to fail because I uh, I did not use sudo for this. And um, I'm going to exit out and, and go back in with sudo in just a sec. But uh, I'm, first, I'm going to add this parameter. So 
yeah, console equals TTY S zero. So we're going to make sure it's using that as the main console device. And that's the console that's connecting to our, uh, our virtual machine. So we want to run ver sh, it'll run that console. So here I exit out and I'm going to specify sudo, type in my password and just do the exact same thing. So yeah, do the same thing all over again. And uh, yeah, so the, the basically when I specify the console this way, um, basically th this um, grub command line Linux defaults, this is a list of parameters that grub will pass to the Linux kernel that tells it to do different things. And this one's telling it the console is TTYS0. And that's the console that's connected to our virtual KVM virtual machine. So when you run ver sh console, that's the console you're connecting to. So now I'm running sudo update grub after editing that file and then sudo reboot. I'm just going to reboot the system. And so now it's rebooting and we're going to be able to connect now with both VNC and the console. Now, one of the reasons I was not able to pass that when I ran vert install is because um, I was able to pass graphics for VNC, but I can't pass kernel parameters because I'm booting from a uh, an ISO image of a CD, and apparently it just does not support passing kernel parameters when you boot from an ISO of a CD. Uh, and here we go. Here's our console we're connected to. Yeah, so if we had booted off of a remote remote media, like off of um, something shared, um, then, then, uh, then we would be able to pass those parameters and have the console working by default. Anyways, here we are on the console. You can see uptime. It's been up, yeah, just less than a minute here. You can see, um, you know, the kernel version, stuff like that. The version of Ubuntu we're running 2204. You can check our CPU info. And yeah, just poke around here a little bit. And that's about everything for today. That's pretty much it. So go ahead and hit that like button and you're, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all the great content we have coming up. We'll also have a lot of great content we've already put out. So you're going to want to go ahead and look at that history of videos that we have and um, make sure you also hit the bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube's not going to let you know when we do come out with a new video. And again, you're not, not going to want to miss some of the stuff we have coming up. So yeah, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon, and more importantly, leave a comment down below. Not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video, they'll see your comments and be that much more informed. Um, if you know something I don't know, leave a comment down below. Any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, we do want to hear it. So leave a comment down below. And um, as always, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video.